This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening. The Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound. I also want to apologize. I did experience some tech technical difficulties last week uh, with the videos. So there were no videos on Wednesday and Thursday. But as you can see, I am resuming tonight on Monday. Um, and we can see prices have moved up uh, to the upper resistance line uh, here with the Euro Pound. We did have a, a close about a pip or two above the line. Um, so right now, moving forward again, I'd still have a, a tentative bearish bias against this line, but I want to zoom in and show you exactly what I'm thinking uh, at, at this time. Uh, what I would what I would hope to see at this point is that this would be a um, an evening star reverse reversal pattern. So with that being said, prices should not exceed the high of this candle wick right here, which is 87.27. Uh, so right now 87.09. That, that's the print um, at the current level. So that's this represents a, a low risk uh, trade idea, trying to get prices back beneath um, this resistance line. But we can see that the prices did clearly close above it, and that's why I want to keep the risk incredibly tight on this trade. So again, I'd have a slight um, tentative bearish bias against 87.27 on the euro pound. The next chart and just be fully prepared for prices to go ahead and blow right through there because again we did have the close above the level. Next chart is the Aussie Kiwi. Not much has changed here. We can see prices are still finding support along the lower channel line here that I added several weeks back. This has uh, set up a few good trades, uh, some spikes beneath it, but we as of yet um, to, to have a close beneath the line. So I'd continue to, to keep this line up. With that being said, uh, we have a, a lot of tests down here. Uh, in my opinion, the more the more line the more times a, a line is tested, the more likely it is to fail. Uh, so right now, I would expect a downside breakout uh, beneath this line. Uh, prices right now are, are resting actually at the line. So we might wait for prices to take out these lows right here around the 21. 85 area. So that's the price point that I would be looking at uh, moving forward. The next chart is the pound Swiss. And here uh, prices did. Uh, this is a double top setup a few weeks back. And we can see that prices did take out the longer term uh, support line that I was waiting for. And that's part of trading. That's what happened. So let's zoom in here. And the most important thing you can learn in trading is how to lose. So in this in, in this candle right here, we had the, the, the close of the candle right at the line. And then we had a spike uh, towards the line again and prices did fail to get back above it and then we had the official close beneath the line right here around the 74 50 area which does represent a lot of risk so this would be pretty straightforward assuming you did enter on the close of this candle uh, which would be the open of the next candle we can see that the actual open of the next candle uh, moves prices beneath that support line so that would be one thing to look at uh, and again we, we would just take our losses with a hard fixed stop maybe about 100 pips or so uh, to the downside here and now just wait for the next opportunity the next chart is the euro swiss and not much has changed here still using this uh, longer term support line and the longer term resistance line price is sort of meandering now after the breakout above this longer term resistance line i really don't see any uh, favorable risk reward setups at this point uh, if we zoom in uh, this was the um, the evening star reversal pattern uh, borderline double top that i called uh, a few weeks back but we can see right now i also had the line the support line on this let me move it up here so i can show you exactly what i'm speaking about but that was this line right here that prices did uh, fall beneath. I, I believe that was uh, towards the middle of land. We had the, the slight close beneath it. Um, and now I completely negate this line. Uh, I would move back here, use this price point, which is the, I believe that's the uh, late October low. And use here, which is the early April, excuse me, the early March low right here. And we can see that these lines perfectly intersect. So this is these are the lines I've been using. It's still a little uh, far away from price action right now especially the Euro Swiss, which is a, a more tame pair, if you will, less volatile than the other pairs. But these are the levels that I'm looking for. I want to go ahead and formally welcome everybody to the Daily FX Forum. And I want to explain a little bit about the forum and the wealth of information uh, that you can obtain from the forum and how to go about doing so, how to find the things you want. So I'm just going to dive right in uh, right now. And this is Daily FX. Dot com. This is usually how I navigate my way towards the forums. Obviously, you know, it really depends on each individual uh, how they access the forums. But this is how I go ahead and do it. I go to dailyfx.com, go ahead and click on the forum on top. And this brings you to the Daily FX Forum homepage. And this highlights the most recent posts uh, with the subject. So if you see anything that you're interested in, uh, you can obviously go ahead and click. What I like to do is, is click on the forums tab like this. 
and go ahead and view the forums um, in, in the normal, typical way that forums are set up. And, and here you go, there are a bunch of threads down here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go directly to, to the forum, which you, the video you just viewed, where you viewed it. So let's go ahead. This is the Daily FX Instructor Tips Forum, Identifying Trades with Daily FX. That's me. Go ahead and click on the most recent post. So this is where you are uh, right now viewing the video, although the video will be uh, the video beneath this one that you're watching right now. Um, um, so normally what, when I'm on the forums and what I would do is just scroll up to the top. Certainly you can check out uh, any of my previous videos and, and uh, you know, especially if I did mention them uh, in, in the report or in the video that you're viewing uh, at that moment. And I, what I will do is go ahead and click on the forums and then look for, for the forums that I like, you know, that I have interest in. Uh, one of them would be uh, the, the Euro Dollar Forum. And, and this, again, it, it's really uh, up to each individual trader as to exactly how they want to use the forum. Personally, uh, what I like to do, the first thing I do is I'll go to the, the Euro Dollar thread, I'll go and click on the latest post. And what I'll do here is, and, and again, uh, I just want to, you know, really emphasize this point. It depends on on your exact mindset when you're viewing. Uh, and me as a trader, I have some experience. So what I do, and how I personally use the forum, is I go through and I'll read what what people are saying about the euro, what their trade ideas are. I certainly, you know, try to maintain my own individual uh, objectivity, and I really don't uh, pay much attention to what other traders are saying in terms of my um, in terms of my trade. I'm not going to certainly see something on a forum and then go jump into a trade. But what it will do, it will open my eyes to certain trading opportunities, maybe a certain line or a certain time frame that I haven't looked at before. So that's one way that I personally uh, like to utilize the Daily FX forum. Uh, but certainly for newer traders, there are plenty of topics uh, that you can go over. Um, let's say you know you're not. A, you might not be well versed in terms of certain currency pairs that you want to learn about. Scalping, you might not know what Elliott Wave is. You can go ahead and click there and see exactly what you can, you know, what you can understand, what you might not understand, and then certainly feel free to ask questions about any of this, to any of these topics that you have. Uh, maybe the carry trade, maybe you have some questions about that, or the sentiment, the SSI, um, or uh, the latest economic news, um, FX programmers, the webinars, MT4. Any questions about active trader, you can go ahead and click on those threads. Uh, so again, it's very free, very open, and there is a wealth of information here and just waiting for it to, to be utilized. Again, this is Matt Russell. Thank you for listening.